while a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunter. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Diaz is five years the elder. The rest is nearly identical. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, presenting the challenger. Fourteen wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighter at a Boca Raton, the Lotto, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's Michael, about to go down go. right go. now. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Look at that. He's timing that jab. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Diaz. Oh, slips and rips. And a left hand behind it. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Right hook to the head, but... Nice punch by Kamaru. This is a, this is a bit of a chess battle here. Level change there, goes for the takedown. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's applying the pressure. Outstanding. Outstanding. Great job.
job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, we could barely get the fight clock sponsor out and the submission comes here in round one. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He knew his opponent would know what was coming. It was going to be takedown attempts in bunches, but he couldn't stop the early shot and, and he certainly couldn't stop the submission. So great effort and even better technique here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, and new! He came in a confident number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him.